Good afternoon. We are on Saturday the 19th of November 2022. I'm going to be sharing with you healing prayers for every day. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to my guardian angel. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, Ever this day be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In sickness and in pain, Lord, your will be done. I take this for my sins. I offer up to you my sufferings, together with all that my Saviour has suffered for me. And I beg you through his sufferings to have mercy on me. Free me from this illness and pain, if you will. And if it be for my good, you love me too much to let me suffer unless it be for my good. Therefore, O Lord, I trust myself to you. Do with me as you please, in sickness and in health. I wish to love you always. Meditation today is taken from Proverbs 8, verse 17. I love those who love me, and those who diligently seek me will find me. The reflection, often, Lord, we turn away from your love, not believing that you really care for us and not seeking you in all that we are faced with. We seek our own ways of dealing with our trials and tribulations. And when we fail, we think it is because you do not love us. Prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for never abandoning me in my times of need. See, we have imaginations that, that are in overtime when we're stressed, but we really need to go into God's word. Let me not, O Lord, be puffed up with worldly wisdom, which passes away. Grant me that love which never abates, that I may not choose to know anything among human beings but Jesus and him crucified. I pray to you, loving Jesus, that as you have graciously given me to drink in with delight the words of your knowledge, so you would mercifully grant me to attain one day to you the fountain of all wisdom and to appear forever before your face. Come, Holy Spirit, Fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, you instructed the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant us by the same Holy Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and ever to rejoice in his consolation. Psalm 66 Make a joyful noise to God all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Give to him glorious praise. Say to God, how terrible are thy deeds! So great is thy power that thy enemies cringe before thee. 
All the earth worships thee. They sing praise to thee. Sing praises to thy name. Come and see what God has done. He is terrible in his deeds among men. He turned the sea into dry land. Men passed through the river on foot. There did we rejoice in him, who rules by his might for ever, whose eyes keep watch on the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Bless our God, O peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. <coughs> Excuse me. Who has kept us among the living and has not let our feet slip? For thou, O God, hast tested us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Thou didst bring us into the net. Thou didst lay affliction on our loins. Thou didst let men ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, yet thou hast brought us forth to a spacious place. I will come into thy house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows, that which my lips uttered and my mouth promised. When I was in trouble, I will offer to thee burnt offerings of fatlings with the smoke of the sacrifice of rams. I will make an offering of bulls and goats. Come and hear, all you who fear God, and I will tell what he has done for me. I cried aloud to him, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I had cherished my iniquity in my heart, my, the Lord would not have listened, but truly God has listened. He has given heed to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, because he has not rejected my prayer or removed his steadfast love from me. The word of the Lord. That was Psalm 66. Thank you for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his healing prayers and may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And I just pray for Deborah in Australia, Jane Smith, Susan Covis, Tony and his family, David Yates and his wife Debbie and their doggies and their children and baby grandchildren. And all those who listen to me and Angela Rose, I pray for her and her daughter and the rest of her family. And I pray for all those who have no one to pray for them. And if you're sick right now, I ask the Lord to touch you in a very special way. If you're depressed, I ask the Lord to lift that depression and fill you full of peace and joy and harmony. And just trust in the Lord in everything that you do and need to do. And remember that Jesus loves you. God bless and thank you so much for listening. Sending you peace, prayers and God's love. <laughs>